Welcome to our lecture online. Just like in the previous video, we see not a complex number, but a imaginary number in the denominator. But the method will be the same. We're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by what we would call the complex conjugate, which means times a negative 5i. But before we do that, we probably want to simplify the numerator first, so we'll do that later. So let's go ahead and multiply what we have in the numerator first. So we have 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times the negative i, which is negative i, 3i times 2, which is plus 6i, and 3i times the negative i, which is a negative 3i squared, all divided by 5i. Now we're going to simplify the numerator some more. We can collect these two terms, so we get 2 plus 5i, and negative 3i squared, remember that i squared is equal to negative 1, so that becomes a positive 3, and divide this by 5i. And so this can be written as 2 plus 3, which is 5, plus 5i, divided by 5i. Wow, that's kind of interesting. I didn't expect to see that, but notice that every term has a 5 in it, so we can simplify that by dividing the numerator and the denominator by 5. So this can be written as 1 plus i over i. So now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the complex conjugate of the denominator. That means we're going to multiply the numerator by negative i, and we're going to multiply the denominator by a negative i. Notice that's equal to 1, so nothing has changed. So when I multiply the numerator, I get the following. So this is equal to 1 times negative i, which is negative i, and i times the negative i is a negative i squared, and in the denominator I have an i times the negative i, which is a negative i squared. Now I realize that i squared is a negative 1, so negative 1 times negative 1 is a positive 1, so this becomes negative i plus 1, and in the denominator, negative times the negative becomes positive, which is simply 1 which means that the denominator can simply disappear and we end up with i plus 1 or 1 plus i because we, write, we like to write the real part first and the imaginary part last. So notice that something that looks quite complicated is actually reduced to something very simple and that is how it's done.